You're watching Great at Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a behind the scene face. I have Gene Rowan from the Summerfest Committee. That's I'm true. I'm used to saying Brockton Public Schools, but you're retired. Oh, yes, quite a while now. Okay, but just. Scares me to think about how long it's been. <laughs> now, when you were at the schools, what did you do? You were a teacher. Yes, I spent half of my career teaching English at the, what was then junior high school, which would now be middle school. Mm -hmm. And the other half, I was the librarian at the Downey School. Well, we love loved, librarians. Oh, loved every minute of it, I'm a, both. I, my first job, before everybody knew me as the cable guy, I was at the library. My first job when oh. Dave Crosby was mayor, who he always wanted to be a librarian. He and had before, a master of library science. I don't know if I you Before I became that. a regular teacher, I wasn't hired. I was a substitute for your mother. Uh-huh. Okay. I still have people to this day that will talk about my mother. Uh, Carrie Buckley is one of them. Oh, and right, right. she's a court officer up at Beacon Hill. And when I go up to visit the legislators, she says, I want to make sure your mother's okay. I said, she is. But she would love if you called her. She said, the only problem is you wouldn't get off the phone for two hours because you would have a long <laughs> conversation. Mom was at all the schools. Mom started out in the uh, our known halftime, and she was at Huntington and That's Whitman where I substituted and Huntington. Franklin, which no longer exists. And um, she got rift, and then she got called back, and she never had the same school for any. She ended up at the Whitman, my all-time favorite school, because that's where I went for fourth, fifth, oh, and sixth grade. Yeah. But she couldn't walk well, the stairs. Well, I give tours at the State House. Oh, I didn't that's know that. That's a volunteer position. Wow. Mm. See, volunteer is just on in Wednesdays, the but not in the summer because high school students are doing it. But um, so I know Carrie Beck Buckley. Well, oh. she went to high school with my oh. daughter. But one day I'm going to come up to the State House with a camera. The state reps want us to come up and do a show up there. So we're going to we're going to pick a Wednesday. Well, call me and come on a Wednesday, and I'll give you the tour. Absolutely. <laughs> so back back to back to Summerfest. Yes. Okay. Um, I was talking to Nancy Crucius, and Nancy said that this is a um, volunteer effort. Okay, yes. it is through community schools, and it is with the school department, but it needs it's self-sufficient. There, mm -hmm. there's monies raised and arts council money and things like yes. that. But you depend on volunteers, and she says it's a small group. There's ten of you, but yeah. you can't put it on with ten people. So you're looking yeah. for volunteers, oh, right? Definitely, yes. Okay, we need volunteers to uh, set up, to take down to help with parking cars, to work with um, arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. uh, just in general, there's an art show sponsored by Bernardi Auto. They do that every year. They've done it for four years for children, and um, they need volunteers for that. Uh, we have caricature artists coming. They need volunteers, so we need a lot. Okay, and if also, they want to volunteer, how do they do that? Well, they can call Bill, and I had to write the number down so okay. I remember, at 508 584 Two five zero six, and he'll arrange it. Bill McGauley sort of came up with the idea of reinstating Summerfest, and Gene Meck runs right. everything with him, mm -hmm. and they got us all together because they had memories of it, as I did. We can't do a three-day one anymore because we don't have a lot of money, uh, but the one-day thing has a lot of things for everyone, and it's free. I remember the three-day one very well because when cable first started in Brockton, I started my career. And that 1983 Summerfest, um, Linda Belzotti, myself, Charlie Bergeron, we were the first three employees of Continental. And, well, actually not the first three, there were two before us. But we went up, there were still bands. I remember those Everything. were the Sue Kovner days, if I remember yes. properly. Yeah. And the city got a lot of money for Arts Lottery yes, Council. Yes, and she was on a full-time salary all year. And I, she brought in name people to oh, perform. I, know. I remember a steel band. Oh, I was wow. talking to Nancy Crucius about um, different acts that were there. That was, they were inside the auditorium, the little and that theater. that was for the adults. And then they had My Children chalk drawing contests yeah. where they used to get... Uh, small ice cream cone certificates from friendlies and every little child thought they had won because they didn't know everybody else was getting it mm -hmm. and they it was wonderful all the events that they had and we were hoping to well, bring some of that this is good and you, there's you a lot of free stuff going 25 on 25 performers according mm -hmm. to what nancy said you have you have food you have music you have performances the different nonprofits are there. Everyone's involved. Different ages. The 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 as they call them themselves, the swinging seniors. Our friend Joan Madden, who's one of our volunteers <laughs> right. here, and the group that's over at the Council on Aging. They're there. Mm -hmm. There are young people there. There's literally something for everything. And it's the good part is if it is bad weather, there's enough room at Brockton yeah. High that you can, we can move kick right it in. inside and the us, other two they calves. They give us the building and the grounds. Well, what could be use. better than that? And uh, you know, it's in the. 
the, the lazy end of summer before everybody comes back full right. force to mm -hmm. schools and everything like that. I think it's great what you're doing. We have free fun? lunch for children, too. Yes, yeah, you said, what, four, 450 Under 18. Lunches? We have 450 between 11 and 2 until mm -hmm. they run out. Mm -hmm. And last year, I think they ran out maybe like a 10 minutes of 2 and there's nobody actually came and asked. Because they had all gotten them, so that's great. It was really good. I mean, there are things you can spend some money on, some crafts and things, but nothing really expensive. And there's food for the adults, and again, that isn't expensive. Right. Chartwells is there; they provide those free lunches. And they're and a great food service. They do a great job yeah. for the city. And and the wood carver's back. Do you know if the wood carver's are back? I'll ask. I'll I, ask Scott Holmes when he comes. He on. might know. Um, I know Jean Mech had a list last night, but she didn't read all of it. Okay. Just the ones that she was checking on. That, so. that was fascinating. I have a friend that does that for a hobby. And, uh, you know, what I liked about it is, I mean, we have fun covering it. It's it's a short enough day. It's uh, 10 to 4. Right. So it's six hours. It's not, mm -hmm. like you said, it's not three days. It's not 10 hours. It's not stretched out. It's just it's started perfect for 10. because I'm out in the heat all day at the welcome table. But Scott Holmes actually got an awning for us. So okay. he didn't want us to be passing out. Seems to always be in the 90s, the day of Summerfest, but it's never rained. Yep. So, um, sell the volunteers. Tell, tell them why they should volunteer. Well, it's and be fun practice. and it's varied. And if you start out something in the morning that you're not that interested in, you can always change. Volunteers don't have to stay all day. If you want to volunteer for just an hour, two hours, that's fine. I'll find something for everybody to do. Mm -hmm. And so. Um, and if you're doing community service for school or for a religious class or something, uh, we'd be happy to write the letter to say that you would put in the time. Okay. So you can count. I don't know if any adult groups have to do community service things, but we're, if we need well, to have it reported, we'll be happy to do it. You have the community service groups. You have mm -hmm. you know, Rotary, Kiwanis. You have ROTC folks like at that. the high school. Uh, the big. I think last year, thirty of them came, and they were great because they could lift things. Well, there you go. <laughs> so. I mean, we will be there. We've been a regular. We've covered it the five years that it was brought mm -hmm. back. It had a hiatus for a while. It was summer Sunday in the park, yeah. and then it kind of disappeared. And then it was. It's, it's good that it I came back. I don't know what inspired Bill to say, "Do you think we could try it?" And we're first they're saying, "Isn't this a little much for the group we had was small?" But Bill's a go-getter. It worked out. He definitely is. And you've been involved for a long time. You were just telling me that you've been involved for About five give, years, give someone else yeah. a turn, right? Well, that was in community school community after schools. all okay. this time. I right. said, call me if you need me, but I think it's time to... And they have a big group, a lot of participants now. The schools are all involved and everything. So I felt I wasn't as needed. And I said, once Maxine was leaving, yeah. this was the time to go. When so someone new came in, have somebody new. One more time with that phone number for Bill, just so people okay, can volunteer. Okay, if you would like to volunteer. Or if you're a vendor and would like to participate, we would love to have you. And the number is 508 584-2506. Okay, and, and you have a Summerfest Brockton Facebook. We put that up on the screen too. Right. Go there and be there or be square, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay. We look forward to seeing everybody. Thank you, Jane. I appreciate it. Good Thank to see you. you. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.